no way we can miss it. <laughs> Colleagues, it's the recording on Zoom. Uh, if you want to show your face, feel free to do so. Uh, so we have uh, multiple sources to make sure that uh, this input is going to live with us for years to come. <laughs> Uh, let me just uh, ref uh, share, reflect a little bit. We, we started uh, this annual social media practitioners network, Telehotla way, early this morning, eight o'clock way here. Uh, some of us managed to have Zoom tea, coffee, while we were waiting for colleagues. And as if it was uh, 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 ordered, we had a little bit of hiccups in the morning to have everybody connected. And I said, wow, we're dealing with technology and uh, there, you, there you go. I think all of us now are experts on how to troubleshoot to get onto the platform. And especially myself, talking for myself in the background here, I think uh, I need crash course, uh, crash course uh, Sydney. We can't, we can't be always struggling when we need to connect. So, and, we are learning and we are growing in that. We, we, then, we then moved on to a formal checking in the Lohotla way, which is basically where we introduce ourselves and uh, explaining to every one of us what our names mean, what they stand for, how, why we named, who we are where we came from, and that was quite very insightful because that is actually the objective of the Lohota is we want to connect. Uh, it's not just an exercise of saying we are here. We want, to, yeah. we want to make sure that we are able to connect with each one. And I must tell you, it was, it was, it was very enjoyable to be honest. And I think wow. this is one part of the, of the Lohota that uh, we, must, we must always uh, allow people to enjoy because it's so beautiful when you're talking about yourself and telling them who you are, where your name comes from and the, the origin, uh, it, it's, it's beautiful. That's an African way, by the way, you know, in an African culture, if, if they say, what is, who are you? And you say you are Sam, they say, please talk to me. <laughs> you're not talking yeah. to me. <laughs> and then we moved on to very interesting uh, three episodes, uh, uh, audio presentation on the impact of social media on our lives. I think that that was quite very challenging because uh, a number of things that they were highlighting that we do in, in relation to these equipments, uh, most of us can confirm that we do that. We sleep with our cell phone next to us. And every now and then you say, beep, beep, you wake up and then the body thinks it's time to wake up and then you never sleep. So you don't get to rest and, uh, and that, that can have its own long-term impact on your health. So, but uh, the, uh, the discussion there was, what do we do about it? Because the, these technologies are not going backwards. They, they're coming forward. There's, there's more technologies that come, are coming and uh, I'm sure the colleagues will share with us what their views are on that one. We then in, in invested some time on the mindfulness meditation practice, uh, a little bit of uh, relaxing there. We did what we call body scan. And I must tell you, I was the one who said, please don't fall asleep. But I must tell you towards the end of the meditation, I was struggling to keep awake. <laughs> the body was so relaxed that uh, I, was, I, I was tempted to actually to fall asleep. But that showed that uh, meditation does help to relax the tension in the body. Uh, and then we reflected a little bit before we broke into body sessions. I call it body sessions because it was two by two, but that's what we normally call the mini lehotla, whereby we go and uh, deliberate on all the inputs that we raised in the better part of the project, of the, of the, of the lehotla. We are now back at the main Lohotla, and we're gonna spend the next time uh, up to the last hour, just getting feedback from the colleagues. And I've heard that we do Melo wanted to start first. And uh, I, will, I will hand over to we do Melo to start. Are you ready we do Melo? No, Mr. Sam, it was not us. I think it was Rindani. Oh, was it Tendani? <laughs> was it Tendani? Yes. Oh. Tendani or uh, I think, um, is it 
the partner of Soli. Yes. If I'm not mistaken. Sorry, uh, it's Anne. I got disconnected, so I'm using Soli's laptop. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So, Thank so you. Uh, um, Anne, you can go ahead with your your feedback. Okay. Okay. Good. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, all colleagues, and welcome to the feedback session. So I'm representing the team of Tendani and Anne. Okay, so our approach was a three-part approach. We, first of all, looked at what this screen addiction is, and then moved on to how it impacts our lives. And finally, um, how can we, you know, control or how can we approach solutions to the problems that it brings to our lives? Okay, so we will start off by looking at a definition that I got from premierhealth.com. Mm. So this definition about screen addiction, it says this is a group of behaviors that are negative, which results in some negative outcomes that can be as a result of using too much of technology in our day-to-day -day lives. Therefore, prolonged use of Things like watching television, playing video games, you know, scrolling through our social media, either on our phones or laptops. So such activities are actually referred to as a digital drug for our brain. That's according to premierhealth.com. Mm. Okay, so um, we, 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 we see this as something that we cannot really get rid of. It's here with us and it's here to stay and if anything it's getting better and better <clears throat> so what, what we feel is that we just need to be mindful of how we interact with with our screens and social media and all this technology we just need to be mindful and and this will be you know it will help us to use it only for for the betterment of our lives you see mm. so look at the impacts the impacts, uh, we looked at the physical and health. So in most cases, because we access social media and screens on portable devices, so we, we tend to, to be less physically active in the sense that we move less frequently because it's, it's really so convenient for us that we can use it anyway. So as a result, this negative physical impact also results in uh, health. It affects our health negatively. So we find a lot of people are now developing obesity, which results to you know, heart diseases and things like this, which are called lifestyle sicknesses. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one way. And another way is psychological impact. So we, we see that a lot of people turn to social media and screens especially when faced with a problem. It could be a, you know, like a health problem or you know, just a social issue. You find people, for example, let me use an example of people facing a relationship issues would go onto social media and just try to search for you know, answers to their problems. And then in the process, they try to apply these solutions that they come across on the, on the screens, which may not necessarily be the solution for their problem as individuals because they say what is good for one person may not necessarily be good for everyone else. So we looked at this as a psycho psychological problem. And finally, um, we look at the social and financial issue. So mm -hmm. social, we realize that human beings are engaging less and less with one another and more with the screens. Like screens have become part of, you know, let's say if you have five fingers, they become like the sixth finger, mm. which you, you know, get rid of that is actually causing a negative, a negative impact on the development of, of the young one's emotional intelligence. Okay, and then finally, we look at the financial impact. Yeah. We find that we have to, we, we are forced to, you know, to invest in a lot of this technology because we actually 
are in a position where we require it in order to perform our daily activities such as our work and and so forth so we have to actually pocket we have to take money out of our pockets additional it's it's like an additional expense mm. where we have to buy expensive devices that allow us to do all these things we have to pay for you know for internet where before we didn't really have to spend so much on the internet, but now it's become like a need. It's become mm. almost a basic need, therefore impacting our financial. Okay. Wow. And then so far we looked at solutions for this mm. problem. So we concluded that this is a problem that's here with us to stay. So we felt like the best way is to have an open mind and embrace this, embrace this uh, new, what can you say? We can actually call it a new normal. Yeah. So let's embrace it and come up with some control measures that mm. will enable us to, you know, to use it effectively and reduce the negative impacts. Okay, and that's that's more or less. Yeah. So you didn't you didn't spend time in enumerating. Uh, on those control measures that uh, we can, when we walk out here today, we can start practicing. Yes. Okay. Uh, one one of the control measures that we we picked up from the presentation earlier is um, spending more time, you know, or just making time to you know interact with our natural environment, mm. you know, and this, and in the sense that we keep away all our technological devices, lock them in the house and go out and just breathe in some fresh air, enjoy nature, look at the birds, you know, just watch the animals and see how they interact. Mm. And this it brings us to reality, really. Mm. So that's one of the things mm. that we came across. Mm. Yes. And I assume that this is not the, these are, these are not the only topics. I mean, this is not what the only thing that you did, you did address other other inputs like the documents that we have shared and the, the, the social media report 2020. Mm, yes, yeah, okay. Uh, we, we were still yet to go through that in detail. Mm. But yeah, we just um, minimized our pointers just to allow more time for other teams to to also to present the input. input. Uh, yes. And then, do you have any any additional inputs to make uh, on the presentation, the feedback? Um, Sam, what we did, what we discussed, we just uh, basically put uh, all the ideas together yeah. and uh, consolidated as one. Um, so I think she covered almost every, just the part that we decided to to cover. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, who is next? Uh, can I go? Yes, gift. Mete. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, my name is Gift. Also, as I've introduced myself in the morning, um. Uh, our group name is the Energizers. I'm representing Soli too. Yeah. Uh, we chose this name because just just, just uh, raise your voice a little bit, gift. Okay. Uh, we chose this group name because of uh, uh, we are from the same engineering facility. That's why we chose the the Energizers. Ah. Okay. okay. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna highlight uh, what we took from the sessions throughout from the documentation that has been sent from the audios. Yeah. So I'm just gonna summarize all of that uh, from our ideas of me and Sony. Mm. Okay, and from the documents received, uh, we picked up most of people use social media for different reasons. Yeah. From the owners of the social media, it is uh, for them it's business. It's a business perspective. Uh, the owners of Facebook, the Twitters, all the YouTubes. Yeah. And the consumers is mostly for communication and information. The consumers is as people who are always made uh, the social media is made for them. Yeah. So and others use it for business to sell, advertise, and make revenue. Yeah. So 
this is the summary from the documents that we received. Uh, so we try to summarize from the documents, all the documentation that we received today. Mm. Yeah, and also on the first video uh, for screen time uh, from the speaker, uh, we think that social media is a good thing also, and also it's a bad thing depending on a single individual. The speaker mentioned that it is very alarming of how an average person can spend their time on the screen. Mm. So it could be a good thing for businessmen and women to have more time on their screens because this is how they mostly make a living these days. Yeah. And also it could be bad for someone else to spend more time on their screen, like a school child. They could fall behind with their work, get distracted. Also a possible addiction that can negatively impact them later in life. So okay. for us, it depends on so, age. So uh, just, just I, I just also need to, uh, I mean, there's a comment that we need, we need to keep on repeating what you are saying because they, they can hear me very loud, but you guys that are okay. talking from there, they can't hear you. It's either you talk soft or, or perhaps the, 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 the micro, I mean, the, the, the speaker is not uh, feeding properly into the radio, but we do have listeners on the radio that will want to be part. So if I encourage you to speak a little bit louder because uh, I think you can magnify your volume a little bit, your voice a little bit. Okay. Okay, am I loud enough now? Yeah, you can try a little bit more, but uh, okay. I will repeat. Okay. I mean, I will just repeat for the sake of them. I, I think what you are saying is that the reason why we are in the social media space is because there they are multiple stakeholders and you say that the first stakeholder, the people that introduces these platforms for them is business, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the second point is that the people who use this for them is, a, is a, they are consuming these products and they are yeah. actually using it to communicate. It's a, it's a medium yeah. of communication, but it's also for business, a medium of delivering products for their yes. clients. Yes, yes. And that is why they are they keep on growing, right? Yes, yes, that's my point. Yeah, but try to speak a little bit louder because you have put valuable points that you are bringing up, but you're talking very soft. You know, you need to shout okay. into your ears. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try to speak a little louder. Yeah, it is definitely your voice okay. that is low. So it's part of also of just to, 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 to try to be audible because we can't lose oh, that valuable okay. input. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna repeat uh, the reflection of, of, of the first video then because yes, uh, that, that was the summary for the documentation, the first one. So now I'm gonna continue on the first video, which is the first speaker. I prefer it as a first speaker. Yes. So, um, so on the first video, they mentioned uh, the screen time, uh, the amount of time we spend on the screen. So he mentioned that it is very alarming and it, it's affecting us very negatively. So uh, my partner and I, uh, we do agree with him at some point and also don't agree with him at some point. Mm. So for us, it could be a good thing for businessmen and women to have more time on their screens because this is how they make, they mostly make a living these days. And then it could be bad for someone like a child who's still going to school or universities or generally any person because they could get distracted in their lives, in their real life. They could get distractions or they could develop a possible addiction. Am, so, I, am I hearing you saying that uh, it, it will need to be controlled in terms of who, which age groups can be trusted with being left alone with it? And you say that when it comes to children, we need it needs to be controlled. But for yes. as, for adult and business people, this is something that they just need to learn to go around with it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one I was gonna elaborate later on when I'm referring to the uh, last video on the possible uh, solutions to. Okay, to well, that's fine. Yeah. That's why I was saying that I'm, 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 I'm enjoying what I'm hearing from you, but if the problem is you will raise your voice and then it goes down again. Just stay, keep it high okay. as there because don't talk to yourself. <laughs> Let the people hear you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you let me try hear to yourself. You must shout at us. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and also the, so, uh, the screen time depends on age, health, line of. Yeah. For work and other related things on time. That should like, uh, like I mentioned, it depends on the age, on the health uh, line of work, like businessmen, they need more time to make money uh, on these days. On Facebook, everywhere, uh, it's me also. So, so you're agreeing they with the argument that what, uh, what can I do? This is my tool for doing business. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the, uh, the screen time also has a negative impact, also a positive impact. So. Uh, it's something that we should really look deep into it uh, before taking our uh, decisions when we come in with solutions. So, because yeah, there has both sides, so we need uh, to look both into them. Mm. So, uh, from the second video, it was mentioned that social media has a problem or rather endless money, like maybe traveling to uh, Eastern Cape, wasting fuel that you can have just have a meeting virtually like uh, things like that so it has also it, economically for them it's good so, so it has also affected our communities in a good way uh that these days it's easier to let your neighbor know of the incident happening around the neighborhood like with whatsapp you can just text them that there was a robbery be careful there's traffic in the morning when they go to work you can just let them know by whatsapp so it's much more easier so also it's bad like i mentioned it's also bad because it take away the physical world everyone is on their phones these days it, you know we, uh, we don't have family time anymore like uh, going on family trips everyone is always on their phones they want to talk to their friends instead of uh, bonding with their brother or their mother so there's no much physical activities. Kids are not playing outside anymore. They're on TV games. So all, all, also uh, financially, uh, I think uh, people, some people uh, have managed to psychologically uh, ally to us with advertisements that we need new things like a uh, new car, a brand new phone, so they do it uh, on advertisement. They try to convince you, even if you don't need it, you, you, your brain will try to convince you that you need that new thing. So financially, it's also bad for us. So that's on uh, the second video. So uh, on the last video for a change that we can do, the solutions that we can come up with right now, uh, me and my partner, uh, we think like the speaker mentioned, uh, maybe you can schedule your off, off screen time that suits your daily life, replacing it with activities that can improve your lifestyle uh, or, or going out with the family or going to gym and other things. And we, we can also use the technology, the apps with schedules, uh, track our duration on social media and also helping us to limit our distractions from the social media. And the last one also, uh, we think maybe the government can develop or maybe the technology, maybe the owners of the social media, different social media accounts, they can come up with a regulatory system that will help uh, with the information that's being shared on social media because uh, most sensitive information are shared we, we are on you, social uh... media because social media is very unfiltered. Yeah, many we people are of different ages see that every day. Yeah, yeah. gift, we are losing you. I see. Hey, can you hear me now? We've got the yeah, we will hear you, but we are losing you. I get feedback from your equipment. The equipment here that the bandwidth is very is very low, so I, I guess we can't change it. If you can just wrap it up because we, we're losing a lot of the content you're sharing, not hearing you. Okay. Yeah, so I think the regulatory system will help also because many of people of different agencies see that every day, sensitive information shared on social media. So they must come up with a solution. Maybe the government or the owners of the social media help us with the information that's regulated. Try to minimize it to the uh, level that's uh, gonna be good for our mental health, maybe depression or trauma because uh, many videos, 
I shared on social media that I know that are not good for our kids. You know, it uh, really damages our way of thinking. So okay. I think that's all. Yeah, that's uh, all. Okay, sorry about the, the connectivity, but uh, we, got, we got the points. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Well done. Okay. The next colleague. I think Modico is ready to uh, spill what we discussed. Okay, good. Modico, I hope it will be much a little bit louder. It depends. I think they, I thought it was the, only the voice, but it's also the connectivity. So that's fine. But but the recording on the on the uh, on the Zoom it will be much better. Let, let, let's hear Modico. Moriko, we are ready for you. You probably muted. Can you hear? Yeah, we can, can hear? hear you now. Okay, perfect. All right. So I was just saying that uh, just interrupt when I when you can when the voice is low or something. Okay. So I was in the group with George. Um, I must say uh, the very good discussions during the day from the morning. Uh, even in our breakup session with George, I think we enjoyed the, the discussion around this issue because this is an issue that that really affects our day-to-day -day lives, um, especially it, it's touching when it comes to the kids, um, mm -hmm. the way our young generation is being absorbed by this uh, uh, wave of uh, social media technologies. So I think in summary, um, I don't want to repeat a lot of the points that we raised, but that's in summary, we looked at four aspects of the issue. So we looked at what we, our interpretat interpretation is of what we discussed the whole day and the reports that we had. Um, we looked at what is kind of like the emerging issues of all those discussions. What are some of those things that are coming out of the discussions that we learned today? And some of the insights that we are learning out of them. Uh, the lastly, I think I'll touch on uh, where, where do we think we are going with all this um, uh, social media um, uh, technologies in our lives. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll categorize it like that uh, yeah. with, with uh, avoiding the repeating what, what is already said. All right, so let's look at this. I mean, overall, what we are having here is that we have technologies that are with us. They are not going anywhere. We have, yeah. we, we, we use them. And, and we're, not, we're not saying they're not going anywhere just for the sake of saying it. They are useful. They, mm -hmm. they are useful in our lives. There is, uh, we communicate with these technologies. We, we, we connect with people with this connected uh, technology. We, we run our uh, businesses entrepreneurs and enterprises with this technology. So we know they're useful. But I think what has come out clearly during the day is that there are red flags. Um, there are. are some things we need. Yeah, there are some things we need to be aware of. Yeah. Um, and, and some of them were highlighted. Um, if you look at issues of uh, social disconnection, um, mm -hmm. you you have kids in our homes who have these virtual friends. So they don't no longer have physical friends. Yes. They they now have virtual friends. That's all they have. Um, so, so the direction we are taking, it's, it's quite scary. Yeah. The physical activity, the physical activity, you struggle to even get the kids to stand up and just walk, not even exercise. Mm. Just you know, walk around, take a walk around the park and all that. So we know those are some of the things that are, are emerging, are coming out. Mm. The cost, mm. we talked about the cost. I mean, it came out clearly from the audio that uh, some of these technologies can hook you up. You start, you start with the app, and once you're used to it, you, they, start, you start, they start talking about payments. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's becoming useful to you, so you start paying for it. Mm -hmm. um, so, 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 so those are some of the things. But um, our interpretation then is that these technologies are here. They are rapidly changing. This is the scary part about them. They are not static. They're changing very quickly every year. Mm. Um, the audio clearly said that in a, 
in a 10 years time, what we're going to be seeing is not the technologies that we have right now. It will be even more. It will be things that are even uh, faster and more scarier than what we have. So the emerging issues that we can see with this is this fast rapid change of technologies brings some uh, 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 emerging behaviors. We, we, we looked at uh, augmented reality, for example. Yes. So I mentioned earlier on that our friends, our kids have like virtual friends, you know. Um, so we're starting to replace our real lives, you know, our real families, our real issues that are concrete in our lives that we need to be part of and enjoy and um, um, uh, see as something that is real that we can uh, be part of and, and be proud of. With replacing it with something that we think it's a, a, a what reality should be, which is out there in the cloud somewhere, uh, we can create, we can develop. So those, those, those kind of reality, um, uh, augmented reality, uh, technologies and realities are, are, are with us and they are need to be uh, in check. Um, we need to really reflect on ourselves and ask ourselves, what is reality? Is reality my family, my cousins, my, or is reality the computer? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the other thing is the, um, we, 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 we see some imaging uh, let's say issues, we, these social media companies are, are very creative when it comes to hooking you into the platform. So now we, we see these feel good features where you have like, you can comment on posts. You know, those are, are hooking uh, stuff on, on, your, on, 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 your, on, your, on your platform. So they, they try to make sure that you are always in there. You know, always interactive with so the, they, the they are just doing their business. They want the market. They want the market, definitely. That's why I say red flags are there. We need to be, you know, we need to be real about how far we can go. Um, but 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 I think maybe we I need to just highlight a little bit is they are doing their business, but they are disrupting our what what the audio gentleman mentioned it as uh, stopping cues. You know, if yeah. you take YouTube, for example, you watch a nice video that is relevant to you. And then when it finished, the algorithm, the algorithm at the back has already worked out how the next video is going to hook you in. It automatically comes in with exactly what you want to watch. You know, it's, it's interesting to you. Mm. you know, those, are, those are already things that are, that are emerging. You're talking about the video. Actually, I was listening to very nice music last night of uh, some artists. But after every song, there comes a, 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 an advert. But it was not even an advert where they just say a few lines. They literally bring people who are selling some stories. And, yes. and, and, and I kept on skipping, skipping, skipping. And at the end of the day, I, I found myself very busy just removing adverts instead of listening to the music. And then exactly. it's because that particular artist was, is very famous and they know uh, 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 there's hundreds and thousands of people on YouTube listening to, to song, to that song. And they just, and I think, I know they're making money, these artists and these musicians, these, these companies that are advertised, they know that many of you uh, are looking at it. So, so, so are you saying that the, there is a contestation between the, the people who are promoting these uh, platforms that are making money out of this and the people who want to consume them. So there's no alignment between the sellers and the buyers of this. I want, I want to use the platform to listen to the music. They're using the same platform to sell their products to me. That's exactly the thing. That is exactly the thing. Um, uh, if you look at this business to customer um, concept where, mm. where Facebook really does well because it's, it's, it's mainly a, a group of uh, people that they can target, that a business can literally target, mm. you know, and, and, and advertise to them. I, I once, one of, my, one of my professors asked once me, uh, asked us in the class, have you ever thought that a computer actually is, is watching you? Like the video, you know, the, 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 
that thing is watching you because everything you do after that there is an advertisement about it yes you know yeah so i, I think we just need to be careful because then we end up doing things that we don't want to do um because we are targeted to yeah to be at the that, 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 that's yeah. the work of the algorithm they look at it looks at your behavior and then it goes and stretch exactly that which you you started exactly to okay just to go on um, the insights of this and just going with uh, what we just discussed now we looked at the report and it, it it's clear from the report that um the some of the social media uh, platforms are, are are losing or are, are losing popularity uh, at maybe with the marketers as well but also with the public if you look at facebook mm. it's starting to lose uh popularity uh instagram is gaining uh popularity a little bit with more subscribers as well uh and and, and of course uh, in linkedin is more into business to business uh marketing side of side of things so it, it's, it's on its own space in a way but i think overall what we what we what we were saying with george is that what is the return on investment on this thing what's because what, i we read the report but we, 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 we're just wondering whether is there a way of really seeing that when you put an advert there, you have a way of finding out whether there is a good return on investment. What you invest in that advert actually gives you some returns that are very useful to your own company. So that's what, that was one thing that we just wanted to put out there. The other one was, um, I um, uh, we, we were wondering whether, because we looked at the survey, it looked at, in different geographical spaces. And we look at, most of it was done in the US. They, they looked at a survey from the US and, and other countries, but South Africa is like, they just took 2% of, of South Africans in a way in the survey. It would be good to really see a South African version of that study, you know, yes. just focusing on South Africa. So that was just something we just wanted to highlight. But I think when I was also thinking before I get to the way going forward, I was just wondering because I know that WhatsApp, it's it's also considered a social media. Yes. Um, so I was wondering whether is there even adverts on WhatsApp, or is there a way that marketers are using WhatsApp, or why is why is it left out on the on the on the survey or on the report? But that was just something that I was uh, just came out of uh, I just you know just came out of my my thinking when I was reading the report. Mm. So in conclusion, we thought, look, the, the technologies are going very fast. They are, they are changing very fast. Social media is with us. We need to take things into our own hands. So in our homes, have dinner times where there is no technology at all. Put the phones away. Have at least 30 minutes an hour having dinner with the family. It, it helps. I tried it at home. It helps. Um, have a day when you put your phone an hour on a flight mode. And these are the things that we mentioned earlier on as well. But just have it on a flight mode for an hour. Start with an hour and see how it goes. It will help over time. Um, exercise cannot be uh, overemphasized. If you don't, if you just sit on the couch and work on your phone and work on your laptop, no activity at all not you know exercise doesn't necessarily even mean you run a lot you can just walk just walking around can help a lot of your own activity uh just naturally and i also like the idea of a natural environment uh we have a, a nice uh, game park uh, natural uh, game park next to us at Victoria, where we just go there for hiking and just sit in there uh, just connecting with the nature when i come back i tell you for sure it's, I come back as a different man. I'm, I'm, I feel refreshed. I feel more clear in my mind um, and all that. So that, that's, that's what we, we said. And George maybe can then come in and add uh, if, if, if there is any, anything I'm missing out. But just to say, most of the things that I mentioned today will be on the ICT show that will be coming soon, uh, which I will be hosting with Judith Horoba uh, soon. Thank you. Great stuff. Just, uh, just to add a few, uh, yes, the first sir. one was really the emphasis on the return on investment. Because if you look at, at, at the numbers there, it says that uh, I'm able to measure my return on investment. 30% of the people say, yeah. 5% uh, say, 
Perfect. So that's 35%. But the balance, 65%, uh, some disagree, some don't quite know how to measure it. So mm. that's one area. Uh, the second is the point he's mentioned, the fact that the survey is USA biased and it's got a 6% UK. It excludes entirely the whole of the European Union yeah. and uh, <laughs> very little bit of South Africa. Can you... Uh, use those the, the, those findings in South Africa, you probably need to do something in South Africa. But the important thing about also is that the addictions that we're talking about from social media, there's a positive for the small business person who yesterday would have had to pay marketers lots of money to, to advertise. Now he, now he can go on his own, no budget, and market on social media and grow. Mm. So that's a, that's, a, that's a huge one for me, and I think it's a big positive. And then the last one is um, the, the, big, the, the survey was done. If you look at the report, it talks about January 2020. Yes. It's very um, old. It's very outdated already. It's, yeah, but one doesn't see the impact of COVID yes. in that report. Yes. Mm, mm. What, what, what has COVID done to these findings? Are they still valid? Is there? Or has COVID thrown in a spanner and re reimagined it as it were? Mm. So those are the, the, the additionals. Wow. Sure. You have just sensitized us that sometimes this statistics you want should always take it with some uh, serious uh, uh, what's the right way? One should take it with absolute. <laughs> you know, one has to look at the relevance and the time of it and and. Just out of interest, uh, Murikwe, you know, the, the, you mentioned the, the example of, and then I found earlier on also, they're going to the nature and be with nature. So I guess we are saying that the, actually it's not a good idea that the municipalities should put Wi-Fi in the parks. <laughs> <laughs> because, because if they do that, then uh, you'll have people trying to do both joking and and tweeting. I've seen people trying to joke and then all of a sudden the joking is now the walking because they have to engage with it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I think I think some that that is that's exactly the thing. Like we put it in the library areas, not in the parks, you know. The the, the parks, the people who people I've seen people who just go to the park for the wife. They're mm. not going there for anything, they just like sit there and then they go and they go then sit down still, like without necessarily you know, uh, enjoying the nature, you just continue with the technology. <laughs> yeah, great stuff. Thank you so uh, maybe much. Maybe just to add, just to add a quick one, quick, Sam, um, on the kids. Yeah, brother, Sam, um, I think it came out. In five minutes. Okay. I think thank it, you. Uh, I think it came out. If you can comment before you leave. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Murigwe. Yeah, I was saying like just a very quick one. Um, it came, it came out very clear that the, these technology entrepreneurs or the CEOs of these big social media companies, um, their kids are not using these technologies like our kids are, not yeah. to that extent. I mean, you, 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 that tells us a lot. Um, yeah. I, I've, I've watched some, some, some show where Bill Gates was saying that his kids will, will only get a, a, a smartphone when they are 13. So only, he only gives them when they're at 8, 30. Yeah. But we know we have our kids at 9, 10. They already have their cell phones and all the connections. They, so, I mean, they, it, it with, they say they are born with iPad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, sure. But, uh, but it's a very good point. And if they are doing that, that, that says that there is something that they know because they research these things. There's something that they know that is not good for the children. Hmm. So we need to balance things. Sure, you guys have brought some 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 powerful insights. Uh, thank you very much, Muligwe. Uh, uh, Brother Sydney wants to leave, but I, I I asked him to to listen and just just to give his uh, reflection based on what you have shared. Is uh, Wittumel is still coming, but uh, let's let's give Sydney a few minutes. Wittumel and Mike, I meant to say, let's give Sydney some few minutes to. Give us what, what are you hearing, Brother Sydney? 
Uh, I'm just hearing your comment, uh, but I'll, based on what you have, uh, I've heard you say, um, what I can say about um, you know the impact of social media. I'm just going to list the things because uh, I don't want to um, take a lot of time. So what what I, what, what I see as an impact cyber cyber security or, or, or bullying in the social media is 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 increasing tremendously. I read an article in the United States where a lot of children were capacitated around how they should uh, you know, play in the social media because it is not a very safe space. Mm. Uh, and secondly, uh, what I can say is that uh, as, as parents, we need also to encourage children to, to, to have a strategy of why they are in the social media, what mm. kind of uh, purpose they want to achieve do they have the plan? What activities they need to be engaged in that are relevant to, uh, you know, the outcomes that they want to achieve? Sometimes we just go into the social media without having a strategy, without having a purpose, no plan, no activities, pre-planned activities and, and tasks. And, and and because the internet, the the, the, the internet is has so many data, so so much knowledge, we can be um, drowning looking for knowledge that we don't know. So I, 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 I recommend uh, having worked uh, for IBM for, for several uh, years uh, and having also worked with community. Hmm. We're losing you there, Brother Sydney. Okay, we lost Sydney, but I think we got the point. So yeah, thank you very much, Brother Sydney, in your absence. I, I'm gonna suggest that we take a few minutes break and we're gonna swap the the laptops because the colleagues on the radio are saying that they, they also can't hear and I think it's valuable inputs we are making. So if we can just swap the laptop for two, three minutes and then we 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 do the last stages of our feedback. We still have we do Melo and Michael to feedback and then I want us to open the mail hotla and then we all reflect and then then we check out. And in the checking out, obviously we will be leading our final remarks and our commitment to what we need to do uh, out of this year's uh, uh, on social media. Uh, the colleagues on the radio, just just hang on there. I'm gonna play some few music for some few songs for you while we're swapping the laptops and reconnecting with our uh, colleagues on the Zoom platform. We'll be back. Okay, colleagues, uh, if you don't mind, just lock uh, lock out and then. Let's just swap it, uh, swap, swap the platform. I think the the, the 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 laptop is definitely contributing to the loudness of it. But before we go, just keep in mind each one of you is going to check out in terms of those five points as per the manual, the the confirmation, the aha, the new insights, the take home, and the new behaviors. I think it's on page is it 30, 40 something, forty four? I think it was. Um, was on page 44. Yes, on page 44, that's how we're going to be checking out. So I'll, I'll, I'll end this, this, this meeting and then reconnect on the new laptop.